guess I have to just use my discretion. We don't have that. This is probably too much of everything, but it wouldn't be me if it wasn't. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are not new then of course welcome back um, I look a little rough right now. I just completed my morning workout. It's pretty early because right now it is um, 11 13 a.m. So that's pretty early for me serious going off And I'm gonna show you guys um, how much I burned. It's not true. So I'm gonna just tell you guys what it said. All right, Siri so i've already burned 320 calories and i have a 400 calorie daily goal and i exercised for 40 minutes that was mainly just um walking i did some workout too so working out and walking and i just figured out um a couple of days ago how to actually track my workout like while it's happening so that um it could show like the active calories that i burned and you know, just little things like that, so I love that too. Right now, I really have to clean up this kitchen because this is not it at all, honestly. So I have to clean the kitchen up, just put away stuff back there because that is not looking good. I really want to change that um, drainer too because I feel like I'm kind of tired of seeing it. Like it's green and it's green. Like, no. So I want to change that. I want to clean this kitchen up. I'm going to make an acai bowl right there. I've had this in the fridge for a while. So I just looked at the instructions and I'm going to make it. And then if I like it, I'm going to continue to buy it. Now I bought this um, berry flavor, right? And I have some granola up here. So I bought that berry. I have my honey to drizzle on there if, if I need it. Cause that one is unsweetened. And then I have, and then I have my granola. I also have some coconut flakes. Is that what it's called? No, no. Let's see. It says unsweetened shredded coconut. I really would have preferred if it was sweetened. Let me see what this is saying. A hundred calories per serving. Jesus Christ. I just barely burned 200 calories. Gluten free. So maybe we're not going to put this on here because the serving size is two and a half tablespoon. Okay. No. We're going to skip that one this morning. Maybe I should put it in the other cupboard though. Here. And I'm going to just do the acai. Let me see. Because I feel like I'm not one to be, um, the acai um, thing says it's 70 calories per. All right, so I'm going to do one here. I'm going to open it, blend it, and then I'm going to add some bananas. I have these bananas that are like overripe. I'm going to use these because I was going to throw them away. So I'm going to use that. And then, um, yeah, let's see how that goes. I feel so good um, working out every day because I feel like, you know, I can see in little areas where it's working for me, like on the sides here. I can really see like a little bit of definition. I don't know if you guys can see, but probably because you guys didn't see what I looked like before I started working out, then it's not really going to make sense. But I absolutely love it. Yesterday, however, I did not work out. I didn't really. Sundays are more of like a busy day for me, especially since I've been home on Sundays. And so like I have to be rushing to yesterday. I was the one who made breakfast. Sometimes we interchange and I'm not the one who makes breakfast. So, um... I made breakfast yesterday and then right after breakfast I had to jump into kind of preparing dinner because of course I did not want to soak my peas from like Saturday evening so I had to wake up and like put it on low and it was just a whole process which it would have been so much easier if I had just soaked the goddamn pea from the night before. So I think um, for next week I'm probably going to soak it from the night before just so that it cuts down the time on a Sunday morning that I spent to wait for it. Yesterday I enjoyed a nice glass of wine too. I didn't even vlog yesterday because I felt like, I don't know, I just didn't, honestly. I'm 
think I'm gonna have my acai bowl in this. I should probably do it in a clear bowl. This is huge, but I could use this one. So it shows all the contents. So aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> The other day, I was talking to my friend on the phone, and she said aesthetic, and I'm just like, all right. Me and one of my other friends had this whole conversation before, and I'm like, yeah, it's aesthetic, and she's like, it's aesthetic. So I'm just like, all right, it's tomato, tomato. Whatever works for you, works for you, and whatever works for me, works for me. That's that. So I have this little, um, oh, my, my knees, Jesus Christ. Listen, this good body business is no joke. So here's my little blender moment. This one came with two jugs. Like it has a shorter one, but I cannot find it. Okay. So, um, let me rinse this. I haven't used it in a while. The last time I used it was to blend some seasoning and that was months ago. Slightly thaw at room temperature or soak under warm water for one to two minutes. We're going to soak it under some warm water. I think I want to use one. this banana in there. It says liquid, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. Well, it's definitely telling you to add banana then. And a half cup of fruit of your choice. I'm gonna just add a little bit of water because I'm just using one of the packets. So damn frozen. It's so watery. I don't know why I thought it would have been more thick, but it's not. It's more like watery than anything. So I have the banana inside here and a little bit of water. And then I'm going to cut this and pour it in there. I need some kitchen scissors because that one is not it at all. No wonder it only asks that you add a small amount of water because this is pretty much water. So hopefully that does not affect, um, what else do I want to add? So I already have the banana. I'm not going to eat a banana then. I have, um, this plum. Okay, so after I cut off the part that's going bad, then I have this, this looks so, um, like so pigmented. And you see this, this is what happens to me a lot of times with fruits. I end up having them and like not using them like that and then they start going bad so it said a half cup of fruit this is way less than half cup but it works Fine. I have so much fruits on the damn table. And I feel like well, look, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to sit. This is what we're working with right now. This is a mixture. Pretty decent. Let me look at how um other people make theirs. Okay, so I can still put banana. At first I'm gonna drizzle some honey. And then I have the granola. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there. Ooh. Well, I don't want it to taste bad. So I put my honey and then I'm going to put some of this granola. I just put it on one side, probably. That's oddly satisfying. I guess not too much. Where's the serving um, thing? Oh, there's none. Guess I have to just use my discretion. We don't have that. <laughs> so, so there's the granola and the honey. I think I'm gonna put some banana on there. I need some strawberries and stuff too because obviously this calls for a little bit more. 
So I'm going to peel this banana and I'm going to use like half of it. And then probably eat the other half later. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it right. And now hair. I could pull the trash. So convenient. The trash is right there. Um. Wow, this is really shredded. Either ways, I'm gonna just put a little bit on here. This is probably too much of everything, but. It wouldn't be me if it wasn't. <laughs> oh, so guys, I'm gonna have this right now. So this is what she looks like. Love that. Look at the side with like the layers, the different, just the different everything. And then this is what the inside looks like. this and then I'm gonna come back later on probably I also had peeled an orange but I don't know if I'm gonna have that still because I feel like I already have so much hair so we'll see how that goes because I could just eat that other half of the banana <laughs> <laughs> 